Republic of St. Marino, Government, Unitary Parliamentary Dictatorial Republic, Ruler, Giuliano Gozzi, Area, 0 0.67 square miles, Population, 14,000, Military Personnel, 20 men. According to tradition, St. Marino was founded in 301 AD when a Christian stonemason named St. Marianus emigrated in 297 from the Dalmatian island of Rob, then a Roman colony. Finding persecution of his Christian beliefs, Marianus hid on the peak of Mount Titano and founded a small community following Christian beliefs. No true evidence exists for a community of Mount Titano until the start of the Middle Ages, however, and the state-run government until system isn't mentioned until the mid-13th century. San Marino claims to be the oldest surviving republic in the world and has only been occupied three times throughout its existence. The micronation was able to protect itself by allying with the Papal States, that for a long stretch of time was the main power in Italy. When Italy united, it saw little reason to risk the foreign repercussions of annexing the little nation. The nation remained a peaceful haven after the Napoleonic Wars, and when World War I was declared, the nation stayed neutral even when the Italians joined the war. The Italians won St. Marino to join the Entente, as they feared the nation could harbor Austrian spies. And when the government refused to join, the Italians cut off all phone lines leaving St. Marino. While the nation did stay neutral, two groups of ten men joined the Italians. One of them was a fine contingent and the other was hospital aides. When the Austrian learned of these two groups, they severed all ties with the small nation. In 1922, they were forced to adopt its own fascist government after the death of an Italian doctor and raised the surrounding population. The Sarmonese Fascist Party was one that was pretty much a group of the National Fascist Party in Italy. It stuck close to the Italian party and didn't have much if any diversions in terms of policies or ideology. They did turn the 1930s into an era of public works and reinvention of the Republic's economy, with the construction of the San Marino Renimi Railway that connected to the Italian railway network. They also worked on modernization of the country's infrastructure that paved the way to its present status as a major tourist destination. When Italy declared war in 1940, San Marino stayed neutral. There was a rumor that spread around that the nation had joined the war with Italy, but the Simonese government sent an envoy to the UK saying otherwise. The nation stayed completely out of the war until 1944, when German troops occupied it during the Gothic Line Offensive. The nation got bombed and was under Allied occupation after the Battle of San Marino, otherwise known as the Battle of Monte Polito. After two months under occupation, the nation was granted its independence once again. If you'd like to learn about the other small neutral nations during the Second World War, click here for the video about Andorra, Liechtenstein, and Monaco. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.